This is what we're going to make today. It's a spanner wrench uh, to fit my collet blocks. And this is one of the collet blocks. This is, whoops, this is the one that does uh, six sides. I've got one that does uh, four sides also. And if you saw my video, um, if you saw my video on making the fly cutter, uh, you'll see where I messed it up because I didn't get it tightened up enough in here. And the reason was, is I had you slide these nuts on here but there's no wrench that comes with it. And the wrench is like $20 or something like that. And then you gotta pay shipping on top of that and blah, blah, blah. So to keep that from happening again, I decided to make this spanner and it's just kind of roughly sanded. I didn't do a great job on doing that, but you know, I'm gonna use this thing so it doesn't really matter. But this will allow me, you can put this in the vise scene and then put that on and really crank down on it. So that's going to make a huge difference in making these uh, this work. All right, let's get started on uh, let's get started on making this spanner. This is the blank that I'm going to use. It's a piece of one and a half inch by a quarter inch uh, hot rolled steel, and it's just long enough, big enough to cover our part. I just sandblasted it to get the rust and the scale off. If I didn't have the sandblaster, I would have just used a wire brush to clean it up. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to cut this out and get it glued on here. With, I'm just going to use some spray adhesive. All right, so I've got our wrench clamped down here, uh, getting ready to cut this out. Um, but I've got to get the width of my cutter set. I don't really quite know how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, adjust it to the side. This circle is exactly what this needs to be. It fits the diameter of my ring. So what I'm going to do is get it approximate to this, maybe you know, just a little bit smaller maybe. Then come over, cut it out, and then I can use my ring and keep enlarging it until I get it. I'm just trying to get something that's pretty close. Okay, I think that's really close, so now I'm going to get over here and get it lined up. Alright, I think that's going to do a pretty good job right there. So let's see what we can do. I, you know, I don't have this tip out here supported. Um, maybe I need to do something about that.
I've got a piece of quarter inch drill rod in here and I'm going to get it turned down to the size of that pin, which is 200 thousandths in my case. So now I've got our pin and our wrench put together here and I'm just getting everything lined up so that I make sure that that will slide in and it, it'll, it will and lock in place. So now I'm going to weld right here and then flip it over and weld the other side. All right, well, there it is finished. And that's going to do a great job of tightening that nut up. I think that problem of having stuff come loose will be a thing of the past. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it inspires you to uh, maybe make one of these on your own or, um, uh, or any other kind of little spanner wrench uh, that you might need. I, I didn't give specifics for this because I have... Uh, the two nuts that I have with this, they're both different, a little bit different sizes. So you're going to have to kind of just scale it out. This is about a half inch difference here. It's almost three quarters here and about half inch uh, back here. It's quarter inch thick stock. And then my pin was just a quarter inch piece of uh, drill rod that I turned down in the lathe. Anyway, I, I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.